This video is brought to you by Privacy.com. Privacy lets you buy things online using virtual cards instead of having to use your real ones, protecting your identity and bank information on the internet. Right now, new customers will automatically get $5 to spend on their first purchase by going to Privacy.com slash Billy Binges to sign up right now. We'll get more into that later on in this video. What's going on my beautiful bitches in that status we said it today baby was good we are back and we are finally watching Beauty and the Beast ever since I finished the Descendant series you guys first of all sent me like a whole list of movies I was like yo Billy you never seen Beauty and the Beast you never seen Magnificent you gotta get caught up on these movies so here we are today is the day all right we are watching Beauty and the Beast for the very first time shout out to everybody that's currently watching this premiere how you doing how you looking how you smelling I hope you're doing looking and smelling great thank you so much for being here with your boy because I know that you could be anywhere in the world but you're right here with me and I love you for that okay I really do. Spam up some hearts in the chat right now if you're watching this premiere. If you did happen to miss out on the premiere, make sure you're subscribed, turn on post notifications, so you're notified every single time I go live, because you never know. I haven't been doing live streams, but I will get back to them real soon, so just be patient, just be patient. Got a lot of things going on in the background, but we will be back doing some live streams for you guys, Q and A's, all that good stuff. But anyways, enough of the talking, y'all. Let's get into Beauty and the Beast. Oh, I'm so happy to see that this intro was not as long as uh, Lady and the Tramp. I always thought that Beauty and the Beast was like the same concept as uh, Hunchback and the Notre Dame. I don't know why. I just felt like it was like the same story. The prince was spoiled, selfish unkind. I mean, can we really be shocked at that? He had everything that he ever wanted. Doesn't sound like he had to work for anything. Repulsed by her haggard appearance, Prince sneered at the gift. Wow, just because of her looks? To reveal a beautiful enchantment. The prince tried to apologize. Wow, look at him trying to apologize. You so fake. As punishment, she transformed him into a hideous beast. Wait, so he became a beast because he was selfish, first of all, and he was judging people off of just their looks. So she punished him by turning him into a beast. The very thing. Oh, I definitely see the lesson here. It's don't judge a book by its cover. I see it. I get it. And honestly, I agree with that. I definitely agree with that. For who could ever learn to love a beast? Woo, that's a pretty good lesson though, for real. That's a way to humble somebody. Cause he would have never understood it if that didn't happen to him. He would have still just kept sending people off and treating people like whatever, just cause he's a selfish a-hole. it's a quiet village. I'm gonna be honest, Todrick Hall, because I watched his video like freaking, I don't know, was it months ago? I don't even know how long ago it was. Like all I'm seeing right now is Todrick's music video. <laughs> And that was the first time that I ever even heard that song. Beanstalk and an ogre and that's a... nice. Marie! Yeah, my boy doesn't care what you talking about at all. Look, there she goes, the girl is strange, no question. Okay, how is a girl that's minding her business strange? That makes no sense. Bonjour. Good day. Who is your wife? Oh. <laughs> what? Oh, I couldn't put it down. Have you got anything new? That's what I love to see. A woman that loves to read. Do y'all read? What's the last book that you read? Let me know in the comment section real quick. Put me on to something new. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda look like one of those sheeps. I'm not even gonna hold you. I looked on the screen like, is that me? <laughs> Her looks have got no pack. Oh, what? She snatched the wig off. That's how I look like without this hat. So y'all can stop asking me. I'm gonna tell y'all, every time somebody bald comes on the screen, I'm gonna tell y'all that that's me. Stop telling me to take my hat off. No. You're the greatest hunter in the whole world. I know. <laughs> oh, well, all right, here we go. We got another guy that needs to be humbled. But she's the most beautiful girl in town. Don't I deserve the best? <laughs> no, you deserve what you work for. That's how it works with everybody. You deserve what you work for. Isn't he dreaming? Mm -hmm. Mr. Bye. Yeah, unfortunately, bro, you gotta be a little bit taller to ride that ride. They ain't even looking at you. They don't even know you standing right there. So did they get like a bunch of Broadway singers for this? Cause they all sound perfect. Bonjour, 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 bonjour. It's not right for a woman to read. Soon she starts getting ideas. Oh no, we don't want that. Like what? <laughs> Thank you, Belle. See, the problem is that you're not reading enough books. That's what the problem is. It's not the fact that she reads, it's the fact that you don't. That crazy old loon, he needs all the help he can get. Don't talk about my father that way. I, I know, like y'all are so disrespectful. Like for real? Did y'all know she can hear y'all? And become a world famous inventor. I ain't gonna lie though, Animated Belle is fire. For real, her features are on point, okay? Have a good time in town today. I got a new book. So where's Belle's mom at? 
So he did all that to chop wood? You know what? My boy is for real all about working smarter and not harder. He said, work out for what? I got a machine that chops wood. I should be there by now. Maybe we missed a turn. Oh, don't tell me her daddy about to die. Don't. Oh my gosh, man. I should have known. We start off with a happy song. Somebody has to die. Anytime we start off with a happy song, somebody has to die. Come on for me, it's a shortcut. He should have followed the horse. Those are his last famous words right there. This can't be right. Where have you taken us, Philippe? How you gonna blame the horse? You told him to go that way. Oh, oh, look out. Oh my goodness, him and the horse about to die. I can't believe her daddy really about to get eaten by these wolves. Y'all, we are literally 14 minutes in. Ain't even been a whole 15 minutes yet. Her daddy about to get eaten. You would think that I would like know that this is gonna happen. I still get shocked every time. Oh, this is his castle. I would've been like, uh, Casper, what is you doing? That man said, oh. Hey, Sponsorship Bill here, ready to give you guys the rest of the scoop on today's sponsor, Privacy. So basically how Privacy works is you can pay and transfer money online by using virtual cards instead of your real ones. They create two types of cards for you, one merchant and one single use card. Merchant cards can be used as many times as you want. You can block hidden fees and overcharges with this card and single use cards literally close within two minutes after your first charge complete. It's great for trials or maybe an unfamiliar website that looks a little sketch and you don't trust it as much. This is a safer way to go about it. Privacy is completely free. There is no downside to getting started, but they do have subscription plans if you want to use it for personal or business goals. The pro plan has 1% cash back on all purchases made. Small business owners can easily monitor shared expenses and transaction limits to your needs with the team plan. Your security and safety is top priority for privacy. This is the reason why I use privacy for all of my online shopping. And me personally, I'm just saying, I think you should too. If you'd like to find out more about privacy and how you can safely, securely shop online, please visit privacy.com slash billybinges and new users who go through my link will get $5 off your first purchase. Once again, thank you to Privacy so much for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back into today's commentary. I know. I like how the candle can put itself out so it doesn't set the whole freaking castle on fire. Close that at once. Yeah, what? Did they just? No. No. That's not what I thought. No, it's not. I'm not seeing this. I am not seeing this. <laughs> How do you just walk up into somebody's castle and just get right on comfortable? You should be looking around. That's not smart at all. Walk into somebody's crib and just start making yourself at home. Like, you don't live there. I don't care who's talking. The clocks, the chairs, I don't care. <laughs> His mustache tickles, Mom. Now, if he start kissing these cups and plates and bowls and stuff, I'm out of here. I'm done watching this movie. <laughs> Who are you? Yo, my boy is a beast for real, cause he looks terrifying. He really looks like the devil. I just needed a place to stay. I'll give you a place to stay. Oh. Wait, don't tell me he's gonna be the one to kill her dad. Oh man, there's no way he killed her daddy and then they gonna fall in love by the end of this. Like clearly it's gonna happen. But what? He has to be alive. He has to be alive by the end of this. I'd like to thank you all for coming to my wedding. First, I better go in there and propose to the girl. Yo, they wasted no time back then. Hey. The freaking ceremony's already set up, but he ain't even asked her yet? Wow. I guess it's one of those things. It's like, when you know, why wait? Look how repulsed she looked. She said, oh, him again. I'm just full of surprises. No, you're full of shh. That's what you're full of. What do you know about my dreams? Plenty. Picture this. Bro, I know you didn't just put your muddy boots on a library book. On the fire. And he got a hole in his sock. Come on, somebody who's focused on their looks like that, how you have a hole in your sock? Say you'll marry me. I'm very sorry, Gaston. I just don't deserve you. Whoa. I like the way she did that. I love the way she did that. Me, the wife of that boorish, brainless. I love how this song just turned into a diss track. Couldn't keep quiet, could we? I was trying to be hospitable. Hospitable? Woo! I'm not even gonna attempt to try to spell that. I feel confident that I could, but I'm not even gonna try. I know y'all like Billy should just do it. Not gonna do it. Not this video. Gotta give my brain a little resties. The girl we have been waiting for. She has come to break the spell. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, I wonder if he's gonna offer her a deal. Like, I'll give you your dad back, but you gotta fall in love with me. I mean, it doesn't work like that, but I don't see why he wouldn't do that, you know? 
He been a beast this whole time. He want to be able to turn back into Gaston. He must be related to Gaston. He gotta be. No time to explain. You must go now. I won't leave you. What are you doing here? Dang, that boy snatched her up quick. And he shouldn't have trespassed here. He's my prisoner. Yo, this man is taking prisoners? Beast is a savage. Oh my goodness. Everybody gotta be miserable because he's miserable. No, Bill. I won't let you do this. You have my word. Done. I like how she did that with her eyes closed. She couldn't even look at him. No, Belle, listen to me. I'm old. I've lived my life. I would have been like, uh, Pops, you might be right. You just might be right. You know what? You lived a pretty full life. Crazy inventions. It's my time now. Love you. I'll come to visit. You didn't even let me say goodbye. Honestly, now I think about it, Beast is all about trafficking. He is a trafficker. Say something to her. I mean, what is there to say? He pretty much just kidnapped her. Like what? Who does she think she is? That girl has tangled with the wrong man. Oh my goodness, now his ego is hit. Gaston can't let it go. Bro, let it go. Why, it's more than I can bear. Uh, more beer? What for? Wait, they drink a beer in this movie? I mean, I hope it's Rue. Slick as Gaston, no one's quick as Gaston. No one's next as incredibly thick. Honestly, this song is about kissing his butt, for real. How about y'all get off his nuts? How about that? Big like Gaston. No one's got us well cleft in his chip. Are y'all trying to date Gaston? As you see, I've got biceps to spare. Okay, are they the only three girls out of the whole town? Like, they only keep showing them. And why are they so busty? I ate four dozen eggs every morning to help me get large. Wait, four dozen eggs? That's a lot of eggs. That would make me sick. Don I use antlers in all of my decorations. Okay, so is every dude in this movie full of himself? Like, who the heck is actually humble? But like her daddy was the only one that was humble, minding his business, doing his thing. But everybody else either got a big head or they're riding somebody else. Yeah, I'm 100%. Gaston and Beast gotta be related for sure. They have to be. Who is it? She asked, who is it? You don't know nobody in that place. What shall we dress you in for dinner? How about your newest slave outfit? How about that? Dinner is served, yes. What's taking so long? Why isn't she here yet? Yo, this guy got anger issues. I'm trying to figure out like, what makes him calm down? Like, how does she eventually fall in love with him? But the rose has already begun to wilt. She's so beautiful and I'm, well, look at me. If you worked on your attitude, probably. And if you didn't hold her against her will, probably would have more of a chance. Above all, you must control your temper. No, that's the only thing that he needs to do is control his temper. Everything else that y'all just told him to do, he don't need to worry about none of that. Well, actually, she's in the process of circumstances being what they are. Bro said all that just to say she ain't coming. You come out or I'll, I'll, I'll break down the door. And then you're going to do what? Attempt to be a gentleman. But she is being. So difficult. I'd be difficult too if you held me hostage. What the? Are you serious? You got the nerve to be yelling at me. Nah. If she doesn't eat with me, and she doesn't eat at all. Woo, this man got some issues. I'm just fooling myself. She'll never see me as anything but a monster. That lady turns you into what you are a freaking beast. If there's something, anything we can please. Yo, this candle is wildin' right now. She's our guest. We must make her feel welcome here. That's what I'm saying. If you're gonna hold somebody hostage, at least make them feel welcome. That's the problem with the beast right now. He just wants stuff to go his way. That's the reason why he's at where he's at right now. Mm, what a good point for life, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes y'all busy trying to blame everybody else for your own problems. Sometimes you gotta look at yourself and just go, it's probably me. I'm the reason why all of these things are happening. It's really easy to blame other things, but when you take a deep look at yourself and be able to take accountability, then things will change. Don't take my word for it though. Be our guest. Put our service to the test. Hey, it's Be Our Guest, okay. Be our guest, be our guest, and I have to burn it We tell jokes, I do tricks with my fellow candlesticks. Yo, he got bars, okay. For a servant who's not serving, he's not whole without a soul to wait upon. Yo, this song has so many bars in it. Okay, I like those lines. We've been rusting, needing so much more than dusting. Oh, not the exercise. It's a guest, it's a guest, takes a lot of loving less. This is actually a pretty good song. Course by course one. Hey, hey. Wow, they put on a whole show for real. That's great. That would make me feel welcome. Why y'all couldn't do that at the beginning? Off to bed. Oh, I couldn't possibly go to bed now. So y'all showing all the silverware and the plates and the napkins and stuff, but I didn't see no food. 
like zero. Y'all just got unlimited tea. And as I always say, if it's not broke, don't fix it. <laughs> Yo, that laugh. <laughs> Oh, she's about to find out his true identity. Oh, don't tell me she's gonna give new life to this flower. Stop! Get out! Honestly, Beast is really all bark, no bite. He just messes up a bunch of his own stuff, but literally he could have killed her daddy, but he didn't. He's a pump faker, that's what he is. He does all that yelling and all that stuff to intimidate and scare people, but he's really not about that. And that's something that I learned a long time ago. The loudest person in the room normally is the scaredest one. Oh Lord, the girl about to freeze to death and so is the horse. I really don't know how the horse pulled itself out of that. I really don't know. Girl, you can't fight off all them wolves. He's finally hitting something other than some dang furniture. So are these not his homies? I thought these were his dogs. These, these ain't his wolves. You hadn't have run away. This wouldn't have happened. If you hadn't frightened me, I wouldn't have run away. Bro, she was free. There should have been nothing for her to have to run away from. That's the point. So this whole movie basically is Stockholm Syndrome. Like that's, that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. No one will help me. Then I'll go back alone. That's what I'm talking about. That's a father. Go back and get your daughter. I want to do something for her, but what? You wanna do something really special? How about release her, free her, let her go? Those are just some options, you know, right off the top of my head. There's something I wanna show you. First, you have to close your eyes. Wait, that man changed his whole outfit. So this is just, this is supposed to be him being softer now? Now can I open them? Oh, he got a whole library. She about to fall in love now. You know that girl, let her read. Isn't this exciting? I didn't see anything. I'm a long chip. Honestly, this is the most selfish movie. <laughs> when I think about this story, they are wild. Why the hell did Disney have me watching a Stockholm Syndrome love story as a little children? I didn't even see this as a little children. Okay, so my question is, when y'all saw this as a kid, right, if you are able to remember, how did this movie make you feel? Like, I really thought this movie was about not judging a book by its cover, but it's a lot in this. Like, it's a whole lot, actually. There may be something there that wasn't there before. Yeah, there was something there that wasn't there before. There may be something there that wasn't there before. Well, you know what there was there before? Her freedom. That's what was there before. Don't have time to be timid. You must be bold, daring. You was bold when you kidnapped her. What you scared for now? Voila. Oh, you look so stupid. Yeah, no, you really did look stupid, for real. You look like the lion off of um, The Wizard of Oz. Your lady awaits. <laughs> Yo, what's up with this guy in his lap? <laughs> he sound like Winnie the Pooh with the cold. I don't know what he nervous for. He wasn't nervous when he kidnapped her. I'm not gonna let this go, y'all. Like, for real. So she just completely forgot about her daddy. Like... Bittersweet and strange. So basically, Disney wants us to forget the fact that she almost died from them wolves. From leaving his house after he kidnapped her. And just because he saved her from these wolves that she would have never even seen or been a part of if it wasn't for him. Now she's slowly falling in love. Disney just wants me to just accept this story? I guess. Beauty and the now I'm trying to figure out the whole movie, his freaking castle been looking real dark and miserable and just the energy in there was real low. It's looking real magical now. Uh oh, he's taking him to that same balcony Aladdin took Jasmine when he asked her, do you trust me? Are you happy here with me? Yes. What is it? Uh, I miss my family. If only I could see my father again. Yeah. There is a way. Oh, he gonna show her the mirror? Oh, wow. Papa. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have showed her her daddy. He'd been sick this whole time and he's trying to find his daughter. Hold on, Papa. I'm on my way. Take it with you. Oh, and she gets to keep the mirror too? And remember me. I'm pretty sure that she's not gonna forget you, bro. You kidnapped her. I don't think it's gonna be that hard to forget. Whatever. Papa. Dang, it looked like her daddy is dead. Did she make it in time? That horrible beast. But he's different now, Papa. Yeah, he literally changed in a day. It's a miracle, honestly. It's just... Oh, hell no. Nah. Here we go with my precious. 
Oh boy, it's all over now. He was enormous. I, I, I'd say at least eight. You don't get much crazier than that. Now Bell's dad's about to get locked up again. Bell, you was better off letting your daddy die on that mountain. It's a shame about your father. You know he's not crazy, Gaston. He's like, oh, do I? Do I know that he's not crazy? Hmm. You know what else is crazy? At the fact that you won't forcefully marry me? That's even crazier. Mm hmm He's no monster, Gaston. You are. No, they're both monsters, honestly. If we keep it at a whole stack, both of them are monsters. It's time to follow me. This dude's really doing all of this because he's jealous because she has feelings for the beast. Even though she really shouldn't. Bring the old man. Get your hands off me. Yo, he threw them both in there? That's gangster. That's gangster. <sighs> I'm not even gonna lie, I'm surprised at the fact that her dad is still alive right now. I really thought he was dead within the first 15 minutes of this movie. It's a fight they want, we'll be ready for them. Who's with me? Yo, them fools closed that door real quick. They was like, we don't want no smoke. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. They gotta catch Fade with all of his appliances. Yes, sir. Hell, look out! Yo, shout out to his wood chopper! Ah, uh -huh. this is a good callback. That's a really good callback. I like it. Damn. Oh. Wait, what's going on here? Are they lovers? That man really just let him just kill him? For real? You not gonna try? He don't got nothing to live for, that's why. Bell. So all it took was him seeing Bell, and now all of a sudden he's ready to fight? You know what would have been funny is, if Bell actually showed up for Gaston and not Beast, and he did all of this for no reason, she's like, you killed my husband! He's like, wait, what? I thought you came back for me. Now I gotta kill you. Bell. Don't turn your back on him. Bell. Something's gonna happen. Something is definitely gonna happen. I told you, I knew it. That's why you shouldn't have turned your back on him. All right, well, Gaston is for sure dead now. He's for sure dead. So I know he doesn't die because they wouldn't have been able to make a descendants if he died. So I know he stays alive. And the fact that there's like three other Beauty and the Beast movies. What? He kind of looks like non-GMO Hercules and Tarzan, like a, a mix. Like just the knockoff, like the Wish version. Yeah, that's exactly the Wish version. Yeah, Cutsworth. So they were actual humans? I didn't even realize that. I just really thought that they were, wow. So everybody had to get punished for him. Yeah, the concept for this movie is very interesting. I really don't think anybody should be aspiring to be this. I don't, I don't think anybody should. Not a fan, nah. Now, if the deeper message was never judge a book by its cover, give it a chance, cool. That was really interesting, really interesting. Go ahead. I tell you what though, the soundtrack for this, fire. Come on, sing to me, girl. Sing to me. Just a little change. Who's singing this part of this song? Okay. Y'all, I'm really sitting here listening to the out credits because this song is a bop. Hallelujah. Okay, so that was Beauty and the Beast. Um, hmm, interesting concept. Honestly, I keep saying that because that's exactly how I feel. How do y'all feel about this movie? Let's talk about it. And do y'all want me to do the live action version of Beauty and the Beast? If you want me to do it, I'll get to it at some point. I don't know, maybe within the next month or two or, you know, I'll get to it at some point. That's only if y'all want to see me do it. So y'all make sure y'all put it in the comment section if you do. If you're currently watching this premiere, I still hope you're doing, looking, and smelling great. Do not forget to hit that thumbs up button on your way out if you did enjoy this commentary. If not, feel free to give it a thumbs down. Uh, don't forget Forget to subscribe turn on post notifications all that good stuff i appreciate your guys love and support to my next movie commentary i'll see you guys then billy benches out